Okay, so my favorite animal is the possum. So for this, um, my long ears are dominant over my short ears. My long tail is dominant over my short tail. My dark fur is the dominant over my light fur. The P is the parentals. The F1 is the dom like all the dominance um, that were given from the P generation. And we're gonna test cross that with all recessives. So to, to make the F2, we're gonna do, um, this is my visuals of the crossing over. So the no crossovers gonna give you the same as the parents were the single crossovers, the position one of the E is going to be flipped for the F2. The SEO2s, the position three where the Fs are, they're going to be flipped reciprocals. And then my DCOs, my E's and my Fs, so one and two, one and three are going to be flipped. So these are my phenotype, genotypes, and numbers of my F2 generation. So to, when mapping, you have to remember to find the middle low size. So you do this by comparing the DCO and the NCO. So in this case, my T's were different. So that means that that's going to be the middle gene on this map. So I did the mother's um, genes on the top and the father's on the bottoms. So to find R1, you use the formula that was given. You have to do the sums of the SCO1s and the DCOs um, for R1 divided by the total multiplied by 100. So I got 18.53. My R2s, you do the SCO2s and the DCOs, you do the sums, and I got 15.67. Drew my map, um, found the coefficient of correlation, so my DCOs, the sum of it. Um, you have to use the decimals of R1 and R2 um, before you multiply it by 100 up top. And I got 0 0.298. So to find the probability, so I use this chart that was given to us in lecture. So if you do the DCO, you do that formula, um, and you have to remember to use the decimals of R1 and R2. Um, and I got this number right here. And then you find the specific gene. So this is where you're going to get your probability. You have to take that number you got before and multiply it by a half because you get half of your genes from your mother, half of them from your father. And I got 0.4325%. So for the SEO1s, um, you do R1, the decimal, minus DCO event. Um, and I got this number. And then you have to multiply it by a half to get your probability. So I got 8.83%. Did the same math for SEO2 and NCO, but I got 7.4% for the SEO2 and 33.3% for my NCO. Thank you.